The cost of living crisis continues to bite, with everything feeling a little bit more expensive. Driving in particular carries an exceptionally high cost, with the price of fuel, insurance and everything in between consistently rising. But if you're looking at ways to bring down your day-to-day -day costs, thankfully there are some tips and tricks to take advantage of. So that's what we're going to look at today. If you're on a budget and you want to make driving as cost-effective as possible, what can you do? We're going to find out. Fuel is what keeps your car going. Be that petrol, diesel or hybrid, it's crucial for ensuring that you stay on the move. However, in recent months, the cost of all fuels has been pretty volatile, with global factors influencing their price. And that's why shopping around or checking online is a great way to make sure that you're getting the best price for fuel. These days, the supermarkets are no longer the very cheapest option, so looking around your local stations could help you save money. A few pennies here and there may not seem like much, but over the course of a year of driving, it all adds up. Obviously, if finances are tight, then swapping cars isn't going to be the most viable option. However, if you're looking to save some money in the long run, then assessing what type of car you currently have in relation to what type of driving you do could possibly help. For instance, if you only do shorter journeys around town, but you drive a diesel, then swapping over to a petrol will be more efficient for you. And likewise, if you're doing long motorway journeys, but you're driving a petrol car, then switching to a diesel could be a more efficient choice for those long distances. If you want to make some big savings and you are doing shorter journeys, then an electric car can make a big difference. Obviously being able to travel without using any fuel whatsoever, relying on cheaper charging, can make a big impact on your finances. So if you haven't thought about making the leap to an electric car, now might be a good time to try it. If changing your car could prove to be your biggest cost save, then remember that motors.co.uk has thousands of cars currently available, all with different powertrains. A bit of planning goes a long way, particularly where efficiency is concerned. So before you leave for a longer journey, it's worth having a quick look at where your route might take you. Online mapping systems that you can find on your laptop or phone can actually prove invaluable in these instances, as they'll be able to show you where traffic most frequently occurs. What's the point of this? Well, finding a route that doesn't suffer from as much traffic will mean you spend less time crawling, which can help your fuel economy. Plus, you may be able to find a shorter route which can trim some miles off. Many services will even give you an option for the most economical route. It can be tempting when you're spending a few hours on the road to turn to a service station or roadside cafe for some food and drink. Now, stopping for a break is no bad thing, and it's important to stretch your legs and take a rest when you're on a long trip. But if you're often buying snacks in these areas, then your costs are going to quickly ramp up. So it's a good idea to pack your lunch ahead of time. Not only does this allow you to make something that just you will like, but it'll also help you to avoid those added costs that come with buying food from a service station. Car insurance is one of the biggest costs associated with driving. Particularly for younger drivers, insurance can prove to be incredibly costly. So making sure you're on the cheapest option will really make a difference. Don't be afraid to shop around. Comparison sites make this job really easy, but sometimes picking up the phone and calling directly can help too. Remember, don't let your insurance automatically roll over, as this won't allow you to be on the cheapest possible plan. Limited mileage policies might save you money too, but be sure to be accurate as underestimating how far you plan to travel could void your insurance. Plus, if your car is a little older, consider classic car insurance. If you're looking to change your vehicle, factor the insurance group into your purchase decision. On the motors.co.uk website, you can actually search by insurance group, which is a handy little feature for making the search process easier. Sometimes you need to spend a little money to save some money. Sounds backward, doesn't it? But it's definitely the case when it comes to car maintenance. Even just consistent servicing of your car will help to prevent larger bills from cropping up further down the road, while also making sure that it's in good working order. Having your car frequently checked over will also mean that garages are able to spot issues before they become a real problem, helping to reduce costs even further. On a more basic level, making sure that your car's tires are properly inflated is important, as having underinflated tires can have a negative impact on fuel economy. So make sure they're put up to the correct levels and that'll make sure that you're not using more fuel than you need to be. 
have you ever thought if you actually need a car? If you're only using your car infrequently, then it might be a good option to consider using public transport instead, particularly if you've got good links around you. That's one crucial way that you can actually drive down how much you're spending on motoring is by just not motoring at all. <laughs> If you do want to hang on to your car, then perhaps swapping it out for a smaller, cheaper option could help cut costs. Smaller cars tend to be more economical too, so it will save money on fuel as well by downsizing. In conclusion, there are plenty of things that you can do to run your car on a budget. Some are as simple as checking tyre pressures and making a pat lunch, while other measures might be more extreme, such as completely changing your vehicle for one that is better suited to your lifestyle and the journeys you make. Whatever the changes you make, we hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications when videos go live on the website. You can head to motors.co.uk for more information around vehicle running costs and to find your next vehicle.